My name is Naledi Kopani. I am 22 years old. I'm living with HIV and a kidney failure. I'm busy trying to write my own book at the moment. I haven't decided on the topic right now because I just want to inspire people about my story, what I have been through for the whole 22 years. She really has got a tremendous spirit within her. And of course her name means Shining Star. And I think that's what she's been for her family and for the hospice as well, because it's just been such a privilege. She was born in 1991. They diagnosed HIV in her when she was four years old. There was no treatment for HIV in the country. So actually, when we diagnosed somebody with HIV, it was, you're going to die. We don't know how long it will take, but you will go in. So the uniqueness in the story of Naledi is that she survived despite the fact that there was no treatment available for her at that stage. Naledi is my sister's child. Né? And then my mother passed away in 1998. So I was looking after her, caring her since she was a baby. If somebody is being diagnosed, it's not easy to accept that. But they make us, me and my family, my children, to accept that if somebody is HIV positive, it's not the end of the world and we must accept it. I first met Naledi when she was four years old. She was discriminated against and the teachers were saying that she's going to infect other children in the crèche. HIV had a huge stigma. Um, I mean, some people still do stigmatise people with HIV, but in those years, it, it really was, absolutely. People didn't want to touch them. They didn't want their children playing with children who were HIV positive. The stigma was a little bit at school when I felt like I was, I felt like an outsider at school. Maybe I felt like it's only me, the only person who has the virus. Immediately when a child is diagnosed with HIV, she feels like an outcast. She feels rejected. You know, she, she, she feels not being loved. We must love, embrace, and support those that are infected. We must always be there for them. A few years ago when she had a reaction to one of her antiretrovirals and she went into renal failure, she went into a coma where we, didn't, we really didn't think she was going to pull through because she was unconscious for such a long time. But she's a great survivor, Naledi. Every time that she's really been ill, she's pulled through and she's gone on. And she's never let what has happened to her get her under. There have been dips, there have been storms, there have been down times. But every time she's managed to come through again. Okay, I'm maybe trying to write a book of my own by next year to be at uh, uh, by next year and also uh, taking my business better. It's about uh, sending a message out there uh, to the people about uh, living with any kind of disease. We need to be strong no matter what disease you are living with. Telling her story is very important. Knowing that it could make a difference to others who are perhaps feeling very depressed, very down because they're living with HIV or with some other chronic illness, um, it also is part of her that will live on. We thought that she would die when she was probably one year old, so she didn't die. Then three years old, she didn't die. Then seven years old, now she's 22 years old. So no, none of us can predict what's going to happen with anybody. God gave us a, a, a life to love. No matter uh, which storms do you go through, which challenges do you have to face every single day, Living life means to me that you have to like appreciate every single little moment that you have. 